Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props, and today I'm going to show you how to sculpt a pumpkin. Alright, now the first step to our pumpkin sculpting is, of course, selecting our pumpkin. Now with this particular one, I got one that was about a mid-range. I didn't want one too small, I don't want one too large. Um, some of the things that I like to look for, I like to have a face on the pumpkin that's pretty symmetrical overall. Uh, I like to have one where any deformations in it, you know, where it's been sitting on the ground are in a spot where it's not going to be obstructive to the rest of it or it's not going to sit properly. Um, the other thing I like to check on is how heavy the pumpkin is. You basically want it heavier than what it looks like and hopefully what that means is that you have more meat to actually sculpt into. Now when it comes to sculpting a pumpkin versus carving it, I use a lot of the same tools that I use when I sculpt monster clay, when I do my masks and helmets and everything else. So I've got a lot of loop tools that I use, uh, large and small, when I start getting into the detail stuff. I've got dental tools that I've picked up off of Amazon, same thing. This allows me to get into all the little nooks and crannies and pull stuff out. A scalpel is very, very important because this is what you use in the very end to get all your defined lines and all the wrinkles and the teeth and eyes and stuff like that. And then I've always got one that has a poker on it. And what this will allow me to do is to check the depth of the meat that I have left before I reach the center of the pumpkin. Because the last thing that you want to do is start sculpting on this and get to a point where you accidentally break through to the middle when you don't mean to. So now that we have our sculpting tools, we have our pumpkin, some other things that I would recommend. Uh, if you notice, I have a drop cloth down here. Now this is just a trash bag that I cut in half. I was out of my actual drop cloth. Usually I go to the hardware store and pick up some three mil stuff to throw down. And that's just because this will get everywhere when we start sculpting on it. You'll have little flakes of pumpkin all over the place. So I've got a mixture of bleach and water here, and what this will do is it'll kind of keep the pumpkin hydrated while you're working on it, but it'll also kill the bacteria that starts building up on the surface, so your pumpkin should last longer overall. Let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of the steps that it takes me to sculpt on a pumpkin. Hopefully you find these interesting and you will try it out yourself. We got a lot to do, so let's get started.
All right, guys, here we have our completed pumpkin. Now, this guy took me about two and a half hours start to finish on him. You know, that's not too bad. I did have to move the cameras around, stuff like that, so it took me a little bit longer than normal. But, you know, I think it turned out pretty good for, for what it is. Again, a annually, this is my relaxing time. You know, this is a month and a half leading up to Halloween. There's nothing but hectic, you know, orders and everything else. This is my opportunity just to kind of sit down, do something on my own that's just for me and for the family. You know, I, I don't have to impress anybody with this. It, it's just, it's a chance to have fun with art again. And hopefully you guys have seen a couple of tips and techniques that you guys can take away from this video to use in your Halloween festivities. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And be sure to swing back by again for more tips and tutorials. Until then... Thanks for stopping by.